hello hello and welcome back to my channel today we are going to be doing a reading vlog and let me just tell you i love reading vlogs more than anything because i feel like that's just when we get to chill and just be authentic like we're reading the book together like it's i mean you're not reading the book maybe you are reading the book i don't know but i don't know i just feel like that's just like the most authentic so it's fun my cat's tail and you know i'm always gonna be honest with you so just to you know let you know I actually started this reading vlog yesterday, but I didn't film an intro. We're gonna be reading three books throughout this vlog. Well, hopefully, through. well, I know we're reading two, but I don't know what third one. Hopefully we read third one, because that's what I wanted to do. We're gonna be reading Wild Love on my Kindle. Spoiler alert, I already finished it, but you'll see that. And we will be finishing up The Invisible Life of Ad LaRue. Spoiler alert, I think this is gonna be five stars, not sure yet. And we are finally And we're finally gonna finish Disappearing Acts. And honestly, I need to know how this ends. I need to know if she lets this bum ruin her life. I need to know. I started this vlog on Saturday, today's Sunday. Mm, because I didn't do Friday and it's supposed to be a weekend vlog, I think I might extend this to Monday because I wanna finish all three of these books. And it's no way I'm gonna finish, I'm 51% through it. So it's no way I'm gonna finish this and this in one more night. That's not gonna happen. So we started on Saturday and we most likely will finish on Monday. But anyways, that's enough talking. Let's get into the vlog where I'm gonna do more talking, but that'll be more fun talking. So anyways, let's go. Okay, the bonnet is on, which means I'm ready to read. Currently I am reading Wild Love by Elsie Silver on my Kindle. And that's the book I'm gonna start off reading because I told myself I was done with romance. Well, not done with romance. I'll never be done with romance. But I told myself I was taking a break from romance and then I started reading this one just as a buffer. I actually like it. It's putting me back in my romance mood. So yeah, I want to start off reading this one because I only have three more hours of this book. So I think we should just finish this one right now because it's only like 1.30. So we can finish this one right now and we can get into another book later tonight. But anyways, that's enough talking. I'm sure I already talked enough in the intro. So let's just get into reading and finish the last three hours of Wild Love. How can I ever say I would give up romance? This is... Mm, mm. <laughs> Alright, so it's much, much, much later and I have finished Wild Love and I realized, I didn't even tell you what it was about. This is a spinoff of the Chestnut Spring series. I only read the first two books in that series because, I don't know, I just wasn't... It wasn't a bad series, but I just didn't care to keep going. This is the Rose Hill series, a spinoff, and the first book is about Willa's brother. Willa is from book two, I think, if I'm remembering correctly. So yeah, this is about her brother, and um, this is, you know, it's a typical small town romance. It's kind of grumpy sunshine, but he's not actually grumpy. He's just really shy, and it can come off as grumpy. And um, the main girl, what is her name? I just finished the book today and I can't remember her name. Um, the main girl, she is more energetic and she is more outspoken, but it's a bit of a forbidden love because she is the little brother of the main guy's best friend. I can't remember his name either. What is going on? So yeah, it's a bit of a forbidden love, it's small town, kind of grumpy sunshine. And yeah, obviously it's gonna be an ongoing series. If I'm nitpicking and I wanna be extra, I would give it, like a 3.8 3.5 or 3.8 because i'm not gonna lie to you the last 80 or so pages i skimmed because i felt like this book this book was like 448 pages it's crazy i can remember the amount of pages but i can't remember the main characters names anyways this was around 448 pages and around page 375 i was kind of over it i was like this could have been wrapped up neatly with a bow we don't need to keep going so i skimmed the last 80 or so pages and yeah, because of that, I had a, because I, I was thinking this was going to be like four stars, but because of that, I was like, oh, it's kind of dragging and it was no need for that. So yeah, I'm giving it like a 3.8 or 3.5. 
somewhere around there it's still a good book and it did exactly what i needed it to do because i picked this up as a buffer book i wasn't looking for this to be a five star read or anything like that so it did exactly what i needed it to do and now let's get into the book that i'm excited to finish we're obviously not going to finish this tonight i have like over 200 pages left we ain't finishing that tonight but since i'm reading a physical book i have to read with my glasses if, when i'm reading my kindle i can read without my glasses it's fine but with physical books i gotta read my glasses anyways we are going to read let's try to read 100 pages because if we can read 100 pages actually what page am i on i'm on part three. First of all this book is told in parts if you don't know i love books told in parts it's just something about it i know it doesn't really make a difference but i just love it and when it's done well ugh, i love that for me okay so i'm on page 163 and this book has 442 pages in it so one six three four six. okay a little 163 442 so a little under 300 pages. But so we can try and read 100 pages tonight, maybe. I don't know, it takes me like an hour to read 50 pages. So let's see how that goes because it's already like 10 o'clock. But, and then plus I gotta wake up at 8 a.m. tomorrow. No, I have to be at church at 8.30 a.m. So I have to wake up at 6.30. Let's try and read 100 pages. I don't know how that's gonna go. But yeah, I wanna read some of it now. And then tomorrow when I'm getting ready, I'm gonna listen to it on audiobook because you know, it's on the Spotify audio, so I can just do that. And I'm gonna try and finish it tomorrow because I wanna finish this one tomorrow and then I wanna finish Disappearing Acts. I wanna finish all three of these books in this video, like I said I would. So I don't know, let's just get into this enough talking because I wanna hurry up and read this so I can actually get enough sleep and I won't fall asleep in church. So y'all, I'm only like 30 pages in. Like I said, I'm not a fast reader, but I don't know, something is clicking to me. Okay, this isn't a spoiler or anything, but throughout the book, they keep mentioning because she has freckles on her face. They keep saying they're like stars. I just looked and on the cover, you see the stars, right? And it's seven of them, right? And then I just noticed, I don't know why I didn't notice this before I was reading the whole book, but each chapter, you see how it has the seven stars, right? So I'm thinking, okay, that is important. And then the guy she meets, because the whole premise of the story, if you don't know what the story is about, um, it's about a girl who makes a deal and she basically makes a deal to, cause she doesn't want to live a stagnant life. But of course when you make a deal with someone evil, you don't get what you want. So she ends up becoming immortal. She lives for centuries. And the whole thing is like, she's like a lot for centuries but no one can remember her once you meet her like yeah you could talk to her or whatever but as soon as you close the door as soon as you walk away you know as soon as you fall asleep or something she's out of your memory and you're looking like who the heck is this so yeah she's basically just forgotten all her life but then she finally meets someone who remembers who she is but that guy he got something going on with him i'm not gonna say any spoilers but it's something about him I know it's something about him because he's acting kind of weird like not like weird like he's a psycho but weird like I don't know he's hiding something obviously he's has I know this man has a and then there was a part they keep saying he keeps looking up at the starless sky like he keeps mentioning the stars too like it's something about the stars like the stars are all throughout this book and I'm trying to get the stars aligned in my head so I can figure out what the heck is going on I want to get at least 50% through the book which obviously I don't think that's gonna happen no 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 but because i have to wake up early tomorrow i'm probably gonna physically read two more chapters and then i'm just gonna switch to the audiobook because that way i can listen to it on two times speed so yeah we're probably just gonna do that but so far this book is like really good i don't know why people were complaining like okay i saw so many mixed reviews which is why it took me so long to read this book because everyone was like oh the beginning is so slow the beginning is not slow i feel like the beginning will only be so for you if you only read pure romance if you read pure romance yeah this is gonna be so for you but if you read like contemporary fiction uh historical fiction and stuff like that this is just gonna be like the regular pace like no i think the story picked up pretty quickly in my opinion but yeah so far i really love it and i feel like there's gonna be five stars i just really want to understand what's going on 
because how is he the only person to remember her? And then they keep mentioning the stars. And then I feel like by the end of the book, when I figure it out, it's gonna be like, dang, it was right in my face because I saw someone when they was like, they were reading it and they said, like they, they were like, okay, that's why it was told this way because of blah, 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 and blah. Like they didn't say what it was about, but they said now after finishing, they understand why it was told the way it was told. You know what I feel like? I'm talking so fast. You guys know I talk fast. You know I talk a lot. But I feel like this is going to be another Anxious People. Anxious People was one of those books where it started off weird. And I was like, why is it starting off like this? But then when you keep reading the book, you start to understand and things fall into place. And it's just like such a beautiful book. I'm feeling like this is going to be like Anxious People. Could this end up being one of my favorite books? I don't know. So far, The Invisible Life of Adler was hitting. So yeah, I'm gonna try to read like two or three more chapters physically and then we're gonna switch to the audiobook until I gotta go to bed because I gotta wake up early. at 7 a.m but i want to give you a little update before i leave so i in fact did get to 50 percent 51 percent to be exact and honestly i think the key to the way people are reading so fast they switch between the physical book and the audiobook i never do that like once i start the physical book i'm sticking with the physical book once i start the audiobook i'm sticking with the audiobook so maybe i need to start switching in between and maybe that will get me done faster but my theory about something being off about him was right so i don't know the details of it yet i feel like we're gonna get into that on the next part because now i'm on part four i think so i don't know the details of the situation but my theory was right i knew something was off about him but i just didn't know what it was but of course i was right and honestly this may seem dramatic but because we're at 50 percent and we're about to hit part four the way the next part of the story goes honestly to the end determines if this is going to be five stars or not because a book can start off okay but it can end so beautifully that you got to give it five stars but a book can start off great and end so bad that it just i gotta give you like three stars at the most so how this ends what the author decides to do with this determines what i rate this book but so far it's still looking like five stars but what happens like whatever the author does with this curse that's what's going to determine it because I feel like I don't know because I always see people cry at the end so I'm trying to figure out like that's my main thing I'm trying to figure out like why are you crying what happens that makes you cry but you know that's how I know it's a good story because I'm sitting here trying to figure out what is going on if I didn't care I would just be like you know what whatever I'll just take it as it comes but I really want to understand what's going on like we might finish this book today especially because now I'm gonna switch between audio and physical I, I know I told you yesterday that I would be listening to it when I'm getting ready for church but then I thought maybe not because this book is dealing with demons and stuff and I'm about to go to church I don't I don't think I really want to play that game but yeah maybe when I get home like after I shower and stuff yeah I'll probably just listen to it for a bit and then come back and then read the physical I'm loving the book so far so far it's still feeling like five stars and I hope it stays that way because I think this is going to become one of my new faves. I'm, I feel like I'm speaking that a little prematurely, but whatever. I don't care. I think it's going to become one of my new faves. But anyways, um, I'm going to finish getting ready and then I'll come back later and we can finish. Yeah, we can finish reading The Invisible Life of Adley Brew. Okay, I just got back from church and I just filmed my intro. So yeah, you probably remember me looking like this from the intro. I was going to take a shower and then come back and start filming like once I'm in bed. But I don't know. I opened the book and now I'm kind of in the mood to read. So we're going to read like one or two chapters real quick and then... I'm gonna go shower then we're gonna come back but yeah let's just read let's just read a little bit you know what i just realized oh my gosh i'm sitting here rereading this and i'm like why <laughs> i thought i was just rereading one chapter but i forgot i listened to the audiobook last night i'm not even here anymore i'm like way ahead so i was like what why is all these chapters repeating Okay, now let's actually start reading because I just wasted my time rereading that whole chapter for no reason, but whatever. All right, yeah, now we have the right place. 
Part four, the man who stayed dry in the rain. That sounds like a Taylor Swift song. Okay. Okay, yeah. You know how I said that this could be another anxious people because of like just how, I don't know how the writing is and stuff. You know, once you connect with a character in a book, you automatically love the book that much more. So the main guy, Henry, the one who finally remembers like Addie, this is like his chapter, right? And this is what it just said. Like, listen to this, this is gorgeous. There is no violent push in one direction, but a softer nudge in a hundred different ways. And now all of them feel out of reach. Blinking you're 28 and everyone else is now a mile down the road and you're still trying to find it. And the irony is hardly lost on you that in wanting to live, to learn, to find yourself, you've gotten lost. I, oh my gosh, I think I love this book. If this book is the energy five stars, you guys, I'm going to lose my mind. I swear I really am. Because this is like, it's giving me everything that I need. Like, okay, I just got out of the reading stuff, y'all. I just got out of the reading stuff when I read a love song for Ricky Wow. But now it just seems like this is a good read a month. Oh my gosh. No, I really love this book. If you haven't read The Invisible Life of Admiral yet, I recommend you read this book. Even though I'm not done, this book is giving me everything I possibly need. I love it. I'm just going to read one more chapter and then I'm going to go shower and stuff and chill for a bit. And then we're going to come back and read. But I just need to read just a little bit more. I just a little bit more. Oh my gosh, I can't walk away from it. Not right now. Okay, so last time we talked, I read a couple chapters of the book and then I told you I was going to go shower and everything. But then after I showered, I did listen to a few, like probably like 30 minutes of the audiobook, and then I ate pizza and I fell asleep. So I'm very tired right now, but I woke up and I said, you know what, I'm going to stay dedicated to this book because I said I'm going to finish these three books in this video. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. So far, I'm still loving the story and we got to see a deeper dive into Henry's background, which I love because now we know his situation. Um... I was right. I, yeah, I guessed it, you know, about his situation. I'm going to read before I fall asleep again. And um, hopefully we can get to the place where we only have like 100 pages left. So then tomorrow we just read real quick, then vibe out. And if I'm in the mood, hop into the next book. If not, we're going to have to leave it there. exactly 75% through the book and I'm gonna stop tonight because I'm very tired but I just cannot figure out how this book is gonna end you know usually when you read books you're just like okay I can see how it's going I can see how this is gonna wrap up I don't know how this is gonna end I don't know how this is gonna wrap up I don't understand why like I just don't understand I feel like there's something I'm missing and then I feel like once I figure it out I'm gonna be like oh I just hope that this story wraps up perfectly. Like, I hope it wraps up with something that's gonna leave me like, wow. You know, you just read a book and you're like, wow. Can't believe it and like that. That's what I'm hoping for because it has all the potential. But if it doesn't end perfectly, I'm probably gonna give it like 4.5. But if it does, it's gonna be straight five stars. <sighs> but anyways, yeah, I'm tired, so I'm gonna go to bed. And I'll catch you tomorrow. And we're back for the final time. I know that's being dramatic, but just let me be dramatic. I'm so excited because I only have 79 more pages left. I've been reading a lot off camera, so that's why I'm so far ahead. But you know, this is the last day of the vlog. So obviously that means I will not be finishing Disappearing Guys. But at least we got to finish two out of three books. I'm proud of myself for that, at least, because a lot of times I probably wouldn't even finish one. I think this is going to be five stars. 79 pages left. I mean, unless the story could take a total turn and just be terrible the last 79 pages, Pretty sure that this is five stars, but 
let's just do a little update so far obviously i still love it because i'm saying it's gonna be five stars but one thing that i really love about this story the way it's told you see like how each chapter well not each chapter each part because it's told in parts and chapters but you get what i'm saying yeah each part so like each part when it starts they just talk about like an art piece and stuff and then when you because i just went through all the parts and like looked at the descriptions of all the art pieces when you look back it's so cool to see how it connects to the story and how it connects to addy and that's the thing everything in this book is so intentional and that's why i'm so upset that i can't figure out like i don't know how this is gonna end and yeah that's a good thing because that means like yeah it's not predictable you don't know how it's gonna end but at the same time there's two things that are just it's like irking me not irking me in a bad way like oh i don't like it for the story it's irking me because i know it's important somehow i know it's significant but i can't figure out how it's going to tie into the end and it's just everything about this book is so intentional so i know that it's important and i feel like once i finish the book well in 79 pages we're going to find out what the heck it means but once i finish and i realize how those two things were connected i feel like i'm going to be like oh because it's like i have predictions but then i don't feel like my predictions are right but i don't know i don't know this story is just so i love it i love this is why i like reading like is this considered literary fiction what is this considered magic realism fantasy literary fiction i don't know what this is considered you know i love me a good romance but this is why i like reading stories that aren't just pure romance because when it comes to other genres of books like it's so interesting to see how the story is told the way how everything just kind of pieces together and like i love it so i don't know i might be back in my literary fiction mood maybe i should finally read hello beautiful let me stop naming books I'm going to read because as soon as I say I'm going to read a book it takes me like four months to actually read it so let me stop. But anyways for the final time let's read The Invisible Life of Adam the Root together. I'm so excited about this so I'm so sad that it's ending but whatever let's get into the video because it's already 9 30 at night and I have 79 pages left so that might take me like an hour and a half and I gotta wake up early tomorrow so we gotta get to reading. sure one of my theories is right pretty sure but I just don't know how it connects to the rest of the story Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, let me keep reading. Oh, it's not, it's not, it's not. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wait. No, was I actually right? Wait, stop. <laughs> I don't know. Do I love this or like what? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, stop. Stop. Let's read. Stop. Okay. I need to tab that actually, because that, no, I love that. Okay, so I just finished the book and I cried, as you just saw. Um, I did not think I was gonna cry. I saw people cry at the end, but I was like, no, so some people be crying and I don't cry. So I was thinking, mm, I'm not gonna cry, but I did. And it is amazing that 30 seconds after crying, I was able to smile because when I tell you this was the most perfect ending, like 
everything tied together everything connected everything was just perfect i absolutely love this book am i gonna read every single ve schwab book ever written now i just might because everything about this was perfect like now i'm on the hunt for books that are similar to this it doesn't have to be similar plot and stuff but just the writing and the way the story wraps up i love books like this so if you haven't guessed by now this is five stars I'm gonna close up the vlog here because we finished the book and it's 11.40 at night and we got a new five star read. Thanks for reading these books with me. Thanks for crying with me. Well, you didn't cry, I cried. Thank you for watching me cry. I have cat fur on my face. My gosh. We didn't get to read Disappearing Acts, but I'm glad that the two books that I did read, Wild Love and The Visible Life of Adler Rue, I actually liked. And I know I sound weird, I could hear it. It's cause I just cried and now my sinuses are stuffed up. But um, yeah, let's end the vlog here so I can go blow my nose. So I'll see you next time. Bye.